Hey guys, it's Lauren here. Thanks for stopping by my channel and checking out my latest video as part of the Hip Kick Glove Design Team. Now, I am here with a sketch challenge for you today. And this sketch, it was so great because there's no circles on it. <laughs> I was getting lots of sketch challenges with circles and I was thinking, oh, I was not happy. So I've got squares. So I was super excited. And so this sketch challenge was a kind of a grid style challenge so I thought look at this fabulous paper it was perfect for this sketch and so I thought I'm going to cut it up and we're going to just use these beautiful squares and highlight these special photos of my daughter having fun with her girlfriends at the beach. Now of course the Hip Kick Club never stops its challenges. I was also challenges challenged to use a punch and do some fussy cutting so as you saw a little moment ago I had a little pile of butterflies in my hand which I'd fussy cut out of some of the beautiful papers that came in this collection this subscription this kit and um, I intend on using those and I have got a punch there but unfortunately I completely I get caught up in the mojo of the putting this layout together and I completely forget the punch so I apologize I failed that challenge but I nailed the fussy cutting and I nailed the sketch now I had no idea what I was doing when I was I had no idea I didn't I just was sat down and started scrapbooking and I didn't know what I was doing so I was just playing around with these squares and I thought wonder if I did them higgledy piggledy I don't know I don't know as you can see I have no idea what I'm doing I'm just playing around so I could have cut this out of the video but I really I really want to normalize what scrapbooking is and that is sometimes thinking through your process. Not No one, I don't think, ever sits down. Well, we rarely sit down and go, yep, let's go, let's do it. And here it all comes together. It does require a little bit of thinking. It does require inspiration. And whether you get that inspiration from other scrapbookers, from watching YouTube, from Pinterest, from Instagram and all that, it does require that. And I think this is a good example, which I wanted to leave in there, of... I had no idea. I was placing it out, it didn't work, and I'm moving on to a different idea, and that's perfectly okay. To be honest, I was gluing this down, I still had no idea, but I just thought it was going to work. It's all these pretty papers. The girls at the beach, they're all smiling. I was happy. These papers look happy. I'm just going to have a play around. And as you'll see, I get to the bottom of this sort of section. And then I realized I did not even center these squares. <laughs> so one side of my white page is wider than the other side of the white page. But we come up with a solution for that as well. How gorgeous. Although these papers are all very different. They've got flowers and trees and stars and spots and gingham and polka dots. It's got it's like butterflies, it's got everything, it all seems to work and that's the beauty of getting a piece of paper like this that has a little snippet of every piece in a collection. This collection is the Paige Evan, new Paige Evans collection by Pink Paisley um, and just knowing that it doesn't really matter you're going to plonk it down and it's going to work because a designer has put it together and that collection worked out stunning. See, as you can see, I don't know what I'm doing. I just realized that, yeah, everything's a little bit off center and I fall back on the sketch and I know where things need to be and that's, and that's the main thing. So, yeah. I've got these gorgeous two photos. These are three, three by four inch photos, so half a four by six. And I just that size seems to really work for me and it's really easy I use the project life app just to insert two normal size photos in there and then I print them out as one photo and cut them in half and there there we have it so the busyness of those gorgeous little pattern squares meant that when I sat my photos on there they were kind of getting lost now I've recently talked in a video 
the importance of using black and white photos when this kind of um, issue arises because the black and white really makes them jump off the page, especially if you play around with the contrast. So in this situation, I didn't have these photos in black and white. So I had to come up with another solution of making sure that they stand out. So what, what I've done here, I've just used some white acrylic paint and I've just created a section. So as you can see, my photos are now standing out. I'm also going to to, to help with that, again, I'm going to mount my photos. I'm going to do a, a double mount with these photos. And the reason being is I love to add layers. I love to add layers to help photos and embellishments at times really jump off the page. So by adding just a thin border and a double border at that is an easy way of helping my photos kind of cope with the busyness of all those patterns. Um, on this layout together. So I thought I'd just back them differently. I'd back one photo with the yellow and one back with the pink and then alternate the two for the second layer. And then you'll start to see it come together. I'm pretty sure I then even go back and to adhere these photos, I use um, just normal adhesive for one photo and then I use some foam tape to adhere the top photo, that photo there that you see me um, layering up there now. Now the reason why once again I'm trying to create dimension in my page. I'm trying to trying to create dimension without making the layouts hugely bulky because of storage. We have to be practical especially when you scrapbook as often as I do. Layouts, storing of layouts can be a, a task in itself. So I am mindful that I don't use too much foam like I don't use multiple levels of foam because I really want them to be out of store well and sit flat in my albums and get as many layouts in my albums as possible because layouts I mean albums can be very expensive especially when shipping in Australia is crazy um like crazy crazy if I want to buy some albums from overseas you know I might be looking at over a hundred dollars just to ship them out here which is really tricky I've fallen in love with nine by 12 inch albums and getting them in Australia is like rare so rare so I usually have to wait and save my pennies big time and get them from overseas but the shipping sometimes would equal the total amount of the products that I'm that I'm purchasing so it's a it's a really tricky thing so I'm mindful of trying to keep my layouts as fairly flat as I can but still create that dimension which is that signature Lauren kind of scrapbooking uh, lots of layers um, lots of embellishments but being mindful I try not to use flare buttons anymore because flare buttons they they rise up a lot um, and they they're that sort of a noticeable thing there was a time where I was flare crazy like flare on every layout and I just noticed that when I was putting all those into albums I'm sorry there's my super puppy making her mark on the world Elsa no barking no barking I'm not sure. Obviously, it's probably time for people to come home from school and people are walking past and she thinks she is king puppy, but she's not. She's just the cutest little furball. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so here we are back on. I'm just playing around. This is what I do, as you know, that I set my out my layouts and I put them all down and then I usually wipe them all off and start adhering them and things then come together. Often there are times where it changes. So here I go, I'm just using a flat adhesive for this one to stick it down and then I use some foam adhesive. Here I go with the foam just to add that dimension. It's the foam tape that I use is from Express It and it's actually not too, too thick. So I'm still keeping in mind that I'm wanting them, my layouts as flat as, as, flat as possible. It's a treat for me to go super crazy and add lots and lots of layers um, to make a really, it, I, I love doing it, let's be honest, they look fabulous, but um, it's just practical, being practical, he's that, look that's the 40 year old me being practical. <laughs> Anyway, so here's, I'm incorporating some of these fussy cut elements well, which are these cute little butterflies and these green little sort of palm leaves. 
they were real they're really cute and uh, they're a bit fiddly to fussy cut out of that pattern paper but um so so worth it because they just sort of bring that little bit of extra life to to the layout there so here I am just playing around with all my florals and I'm also at this time thinking about what's my title going to be what embellishments, how am I going to set my title out? I've got the sketch in my mind where the title is meant to be in the sketch and I'm sort of trying to think about all those things. I'm also thinking that I did want a little embellishment cluster up in that top left-hand corner but um, just sort of thinking about it's a really big cluster, that big floral section there with the photos. I didn't sort of want to take away from that section. So I just wanted something simple up in that corner and that's what we get. How cute are these stickers? They are sort of an epoxy finish, which um, which is beautiful. and But the colours are rich and they match this collection perfectly. So I thought I would use that lovely, um, lovely scripty font. I wish I could write like that um, together to put across there. And I go out and I grab these gorgeous puffy alphabet set from that new Paige Evans collection just to um, put these, put some more happiness and more colour to my layout. So I end up adding the title Together Fun Times. Um, these, the beautiful thing about this grid style, the, the way I've put this layout together with all these different colours from this one collection and then using the thickers from the collection is all these colours match perfectly and I know that if I wanted that effect using other um, other thickers I would be hard pressed to find those colours that match perfectly. So that's a fab fabulous little alphabet set there that came in these um, month's subscription kits there. So here I am now adding the butterflies, the little bit of magic that brings the layout to life. Butterflies are always just the happiest little embellishment. Flowers, butterflies, you can't go wrong, can you? Rainbows, what else is sort of on trend at the moment? Stars, hearts, even mushrooms. We're going to have pumpkins and Halloween coming out soon, which is going to be lots of fun. Um, and yeah. God, we're so lucky. We're so lucky to have this hobby where we get to play with these beautiful things. So here I am thinking I want to add a bit more dimension and a little bit more character to these little squares. So just on the plain ones, they do have, they all have patterns on them, but just the ones that are a little bit plainer, I've just added using a white pen, just these little stitching marks around the, the outside. And that just sort of creates a bit more of a handmade feel without me actually having to get the cotton out and also brings those squares out a little bit and not, not let them get lost in the in the layout and in the the busyness of all those little patterns there it sort of makes some of them stand out a little I don't know what do you think do you like those little dashes do you think they they've helped the layout come together um yeah I'd love you to share with me your tips on layout storage how how do you store your layouts? Do you store them in albums? Do you store them in boxes? Do they just pile high in the corner of your room? Because I was at that stage as well. Share with me how you store your layouts. And what size layouts do you prefer? I'm I'm thinking I'm gonna have a maybe maybe next year, maybe 2020 will be a year of nine by twelve. I I've tend to fallen in love with that kind of that that size album even though it's going to cost me a fortune to get all those albums <laughs> um yeah what size layouts do you like to scrapbook um let me know in the comments and I'd love to have a chat with you about it so finishing off now with a little bit of journaling and there you have it there's my colorful happy layout come together highlighting this special moment with my daughter and a couple of her girlfriends at the beach so please if you're new to my channel welcome I'd love you to become a subscriber give me a like if this layout has inspired you and I'll catch you guys again really soon with another layout. Take care. Bye.